few students emailed me uh, and they were concerned that they couldn't do the lab and they had trouble with conducting the lab <coughs> so I'm gonna just show you step by step what to do first of all I would advise you to click on this link and watch the video and then you click on this link to see to read a little bit background information about each lab and also see the procedure what you should do and then click on here to see how your final lab report should look like I'm gonna do the lab now then once you read that one scroll down to this and this is the actual lab simulation now let's assume the instruction asked me take seven cubes so I'm gonna take one two three four five six seven let's assume that the instruction says in tube number one add amylase and tube number one also add starch and in tube number one also add iodine wa water and tube number two suppose we add starch we add water and we add a buffer at pH of two in tube number three suppose you we add glucose we add water and we add pH2 suppose in tube number three we add amylase starch and buffer of pH2 in tube number five let's add cellulose starch let's add water and let's assume this one is going to be pH 7 and the other one let's add something else let's add glucose water and at pH 7 and let's add to this one water maltose and pH 7 what you should do is in this experiment you should do it at pH 2 and then you should do it at pH 7 and then you should do it at pH 9 to see how the pH affects the experiment so now what we do uh, over here uh, once you add this one you incubate it now suppose that incubation is for one hour so what does this indicate that after one hour of conducting this experiment in actual lab what would I get and this is the time lapse over here showing you 13 minutes I will be fast 16 minutes fast so I'm gonna just wait for this one uh, for 60 minutes after 60 minutes now the tubes have been sitting here so this indicate that the tubes have been incubated at 37 degrees for one hour you could change the temperature if you want to but let's uh, conduct this experiment for one hour I'll take the content of this tube and put half of this in this tube and then I'll take this one put half here and I'll take the second one the fourth one and the seven one so now each tube has half here half here now <clears throat> this is iodine if I take iodine to this one and add it here color you see color you see different color this results indicate the tube number two, number four, and number five had starch. Tube number one, number three, number six, and number seven had no starch. If you recall from earlier, in tube number one, number six, and number seven, I did not add any starch. In tube number two, four, five, I added starch. What happens to the rest right over here? Those seven tubes, I'll boil it. So we're going to boil those tubes. But before we could boil the tubes, I have to add 
Benedict solution to each one. After adding Benedict solution to all of them, notice the color. Now we're going to boil it for one hour. Now you see the notice, notice the color change in each one. In the presence of glucose, when you add Benedict solution and the solution, the tube also contains glucose, the color changes to reddish brick color after boiling it. So looking at this one, that is this glucose? What about this one? What about this one? So without any question, we know tube number seven, number six, number three and number four one contains glucose now how about this tube number four now tube number four is not glucose but this tube number four contains some glucose because that's greenish color and all this instruction as in your lab manual i mean in the instruction that i send you so that instruction that i send you tells you about those color changes what each means and now I, when i'm done with this lab for instance I will do it with pH number seven for all of them. That's one. I will just do everything. I'll just use any of those solution and do. And then I could go to the next experiment. And this experiment is going to be about pepsin. How you should know what is pepsin. Pepsin is the enzyme that breaks down protein. So I would just take a solution over here. Add it here. And then I would add pepsin to this one and say for instance like in this one I do it at pH 7 and then I incubate it and I look at the result color change will indicate something and you should read this instruction in your lab manual if you need any further help let me know I hope this helps